previously on Auto Afflicted. W220, hands down the worst chassis ever made by Mercedes. Fiber optics to go bad, 40 modules to go bad. It's a trap! ABC suspension, vacuum manifold can go bad. Like asking for a huge hole in your bank account. We'd think we would have the sense to stay away from it, but $1,800, S600, W220, clean title. We're gonna go look at it. It's a W220 life. I can't escape it. You know what's messed up though? What? I'm kind of excited to see the S600. Oh well, yeah. No, I, I totally agree. That's messed up. Yeah, it's... Not, as yeah. much trouble as we've gone through with the S55. Yeah. Uh, it gets better when you get up close on it. Because of course the front end's taped together. WT20. It's a little bit sagging, which is gangster actually. It's supposed to be super clean interior. Surprisingly, the seats aren't broken. That's normally broken down there. Leather wrap dash. Alcantara headliner is nice. Looks familiar. We spent some time there on the S55. Oh God, I'm having flashbacks. Looks good. I think it's a winner. Huh? Call Chaz in a tow truck and let's get this thing. No way. Oh, yeah. You think I'm being facetious? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe, but at the same time, it's a V12. I brought some quarters so we can do the coin test. <laughs> yeah. What's the coin test? Does it fit in a payphone so you can get home? Uh -huh. Oh, wait. No more payphones. Battery's dead. Trunk won't open. There's a workaround, but you have to have some tools and you can unscrew under here and then push up the whole mechanism yeah. and it'll release it or you can put a jumper pack on it and it'll i saw a plush and i got excited yeah, yeah the problem with these w220s or cars of this era battery in the trunk and yet they've decided not to give you any leads in the frunk or the engine bay I think someone cared about this car because... Look how nice it is. I mean, it made it 256,000 miles. See down where it says thank you? See if you can pull the top and pull it back. Does it come? Yeah. There you go. And then there's nuts on it. Whoa. Get in there. Smoking a pancake, banging a blintz. Oh, that's insane. Typical, how old is this car? 20 years and it has a very fresh repair kit. Comes with all the fuses, all the fuses. <laughs> Look at all those fuses, 40s, 60s, 30s. That's clean. I wonder what kind of wheel is in here. Is it a full size or what? Oh, wow. That's why we don't have nice things. Let's see. Dude. How'd you like a full set of German spares? That would be kind of sick, huh? Hey, C300. Huh? C300. Yeah. Got one of those. Hey, it's the Kia Monte. That is the S class of South Korea. What is it? It looks like a Shagwar and an S class all in one. <laughs> does that make you horny? It really does. When you see it coming, you're like, oh, that's a crazy new Jag. I mean, yeah. Kia Benz. Something.
quite a conundrum. $2,000 Kia, $1,800 Mercedes. Here we have a twin turbo V12 or a twin turd V2. I don't Two. know. I've one of these before, so I'm like, you were. Yeah, we have a we have a S55 at our shop. Okay. So it's like the same chassis. It's just a AMG V8. It has all the same problems. The V12 isn't really a problem. It's the chassis. Yeah. That's the problem. What's your shop? Uh, it's called Auto Afflicted. Okay. We have like a, a YouTube channel, and the shop is new. But uh, are yeah. you guys down here in Utah County? Or? No, we're up in North Salt Lake, actually. Okay. Yeah. But we only buy stuff in Tooele in Utah County. It seems like I don't know why. Ah, uh, hey, okay, the key is turning. Nice. The stereo's on. Perfect. The engine is started. All right. Holy sh. <laughs> It goes into gear. Uh, ABC Sports suspension rising up. Watch your body. All right, we've activated the suspension, but it doesn't seem to be coming up. Suspension is not going up at all. How's it feel? Uh, well, I'm deaf and I can hear that. Nah, you don't hear anything. Here's a, the real test. Uh, ah! Holy <laughs> shit! It took my corner! That's not a good sign. I would say that a four of the 12 cylinders. How do you know it's a W220? It literally could be a squirrel stuck in there, and that's a thing. The engine's smooth. It's yeah. smooth. Climate control doesn't work. The fan isn't working, so same 40 amp fuse we we're dealing with in the front of the s55 kind of a common thing not a huge deal um the biggest deal is why won't it rev over 3000 rpms and it doesn't have a check engine light and it doesn't say it's in limp home oh it is in limp home the abc lights on abc drive carefully oh drive to the workshop yeah it doesn't even say that it just says drive carefully okay Headrest. Oh, headrest wants to work. A lot of hissing back there. Sounds like a bag of snakes. Do you think that noise could be the um, the tandem pump for the ABC suspension? I popped out my bottom dollar. It's not the motor. We would have blown it up by now if that was a Canuck. Question, I don't know. Yeah. Comment below, which one is the oil for the reservoir? For the ABC? That's ABC. It's probably this guy. But there's two reservoirs, right? There's one there and one there. Shouldn't there be oil in that? Wait, you need fluid for the ABC suspension to work? Is it a 3000 PSI hydraulic system that requires fluid? Fluid from Pentison. Motor as unveiled. Motor as unveiled. Motor as unveiled. Motor and unveiled. Oh, Motor and unveiled. Un Hot cold. Somebody loved this car. That's like clean as a whistle in there. Yeah, the front one wants to work, but the back one does work. So that's just a vacuum line, most likely. It could be a broken diaphragm. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So tell me how this car isn't in better shape than the S55. This is luxury. 
How is it not in better shape? Yeah. Why would I lie to you? It's in better shape than the S55 all day. Right? It's the curse of the W220. This car is in great shape. It's got a Alcantara headliner. It's got a V12. We've already convinced ourselves that it's probably the ABC tandem pump. Right. And it doesn't have any fluid in it, so potentially... Yeah. Well, the crazy thing is I just had a mental evaluation, so I know I'm not insane, but I want it. Fuck. Really bad. That's like, this is Yakuza Big Pimpin'. Oh. Dude, slammed all the way. Um, Tokyo scrape style. It's one of my favorite features about the Mercedes, and I'm not sure what it is. Is it convenience? Or is it for when you sneak home from your mistress late at night and the soft close just closes, you don't have to slam the door and, you know, out yourself. Yes. You wonder why you're looking up tandem pumps, but it's an $1,800 V12. It's like, you should know better, but it's an $1,800 V12. It's an S-Class. You should know better, but it's $1,800. V12. But you should know better. And what happened in the 2000s with headlights? What was the deal? Lexus has headlights like this. The Porsche has the cracked egg headlights. This one, at least these ones are, this is, this is a facelift compared to the S55, which has the really manky ones, yeah, yeah, because that one's like a 2003 or four, and I think the facelift came right. after that. So are people interested in watching two dumbasses who don't know anything about it try to get it to go? Leave your answer in the comments. Yeah, it's just, you got down here your regliometer. Now it's, it's next to your manifold, but you're not gonna have to replace your manifold. Well, it's, that's what controls your muffler bearings. It all depends on how wet your dipstick is. <laughs> the thing about your dipstick is it comes in two different wetnesses depending on the, the temperature. Right? Well, it's got neither. <laughs> yeah, and that's got wetness. A little bit of wetness. No, that was right at a mark. Okay. A little low. Yeah, that's that's got to be your ABC, ABA, though. And that's got to be your power steering. And the tandem pump, is it then, I don't know how it works. So is there a side that pumps your power steering? Yes. And a side it, that pumps your ABC? It's something like that. So when you so delete the ABC. on your ABC, well, then the power steering pump's working because it has power steering. Right. Maybe, I think it, had, it probably has two sides because it's a tandem. Yeah. Dual. And that, that's that, why that. you got two chambers because you only need enough power steering for power steering, but you need a shit ton. Right for your active body control. Right. Which you don't have any of. Are you listening to me talk us <laughs> into this? Yeah, you're, you're into it. I am. Uh, so this is the magic of 2000s. Your dipstick. Oh. Go to your dealer or your authorized mechanic. And if you take your car to the mechanic, and they tell you they checked your oil level, you should ask to see their dipstick because... Well, you gotta be long and thin. It's a cable. It's just the typical W220 mirror scenario. When you're going down the road, it just helps you see a little bit more and a little bit less. So it's dynamic, so you can see over to the lane, it, back it, at your fender, just making sure where you are. Dynamic, active mirror Control. quiver. <laughs> it's a damn. The cue is silent. It's just damn. When you look over, you just go, damn. Wanna do it? I don't know. Let's do it. All right, well, what about if we make you a deal? I'm thinking that one of two things, like either we should buy this from you and get it trailered up, or we could line up against the fence and you could kick us in the nuts into the 7,000 watt <laughs> fence. Cause it's gonna equal about the same, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. No, it you're wrong. Away. Getting kicked in the balls into a 7,000 watt fence is still better. <laughs> As you've seen, 
we kind of fell in love with the S600 and we've managed to convince ourselves that it's probably just the duo pump and it doesn't even have any fluid in it for the ABC suspension. Once we top that off, it's gonna pop up, it's gonna come out of limp mode, and it's gonna be quite a runner. We've also convinced ourselves, right, that it's a 250,000 mile car. That must mean that someone really cared about this car for it to make it as far as it did and to look as beautiful as it looks inside. So as you can see, the thing about the W220, the C215, is that it's very much like the mermaid on the rocks singing their siren song to the poor seaman, come over, come over, crash into the rocks and be with us. That's the W220 life. And honestly, I think I love it. So you know the drill, friends. Love the ones you're with. Be kind to your friends in the W220 life. They know not what they do. You just have to support them. And until the next time, be well.